Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I do have a lot of family in the department or that were on the department. I'm actually a third generation. My grandfather uh, and my father, uh, my father just recently retired, and my brother and I are on the department, and my cousin is actually in the academy right now, so we do have a long line of family on the department. Just saw a guy run out of a motel complex across the street. Uh, so we're gonna go out on him for jaywalking and see what he's all about. This area is pretty known for narcotics and weapons. So we'll go ahead and stop him and just uh, see what's going on. How's it going, man? Just stay in front of my car real quick. Not any trouble. I just saw you jaywalking right there, okay? Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm stopping. It's all good. Uh, oh, trying to catch the bus? All right, well, I'll try to be quick. Just give him that backpack, just put on my hood for me, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have anything illegal on you? No, I okay, can I pat you down? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, just do me a favor. I, I'm just trying to catch the bus. Okay. Just do me a favor and put your hands behind your back for me. All right. Your hands behind your back. Behind your back. There you go. Separate your feet. You ever been arrested or anything? Uh, yeah, I have. Okay. Uh, I'm just headed down to go see my girlfriend. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? Uh, yes, I do. It's okay. In my, it's in my left okay. pocket. Can I search your pockets? Uh, I mean. Do you have anything? What's, what, what's that right there? You got something squishing oh, there? It's my phone. Okay. All right. Bro. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm legit. Like, okay. Yeah, bro. Bro. Do you have anything illegal in your pockets? No, That's what I'm asking. No. Can I search your pockets? No, sir. Okay. I, I don't, sir. I don't, I don't have anything. Come on. Stop. Come on, man. Don't give me a freak, man. Come on. Come on, man. Stop. Get up, dude. No, stop, bro. God damn it. More 16. God damn it. Hey, help me, dog. Help me. Okay, my left arm just don't change the ball All right, all right. I'm homeless, dog. Okay, it's fine. I'm homeless, dog. I'm homeless, dog. Back up. You can record all you want. You're going to back up. Oh, you any scratches? I'm good. Go have a seat in your car for a minute. Relax. Okay. You got any water or anything in there? Uh, I got water in there. All right, I'm going to have paramedics come look at you. I just wanted somewhere stand to go to sleep, the, man. Stand in front of the window and spread your feet. I was just trying to get home, man. Go see my girl. That's it, bro. No bullshit. I wasn't trying to throw no licks on you, man. I, I wasn't, man. I was just trying to mind my own business, bro. All right, go ahead and get in the car for me. That's all. I, just tried, I wasn't trying to hurt anybody, so. Well, stopped him right here for jaywalking. When I started patting him down, it felt a pipe. And uh, right when he, I felt that pipe, he took off. Tackled him to the ground, and uh, we go through a couple blows and uh, wait for backup. So struggled him for a little bit, grabbed his arm, threw him down and then went back and forth for uh, about two, three minutes until you guys showed up, so we got medical good little scuffle. Yeah, we got medical on the way, bro. <laughs> Your head is jacked up. Is it? Yeah. Uh, after we arrested him, we searched him. He had a, uh, like, a cracked pipe on him, and he had a shank, a little okay. homemade knife. Yeah. He was uh, reaching, I think he was reaching for his pocket, so it almost came deadly for us real quick. It's the worst day of my life. Hey, I'm Sergeant Johnson with, what, what happened? What? I, I, I. I did, I jaywalked because I thought I saw the bus coming. 
And I've been walking all day, like for two days, man. I, I'm homeless. So you're jaywalking, and then the officer contacted you? Yeah, yeah, he did. How does that lead into a fight? What happened? No, because basically he, he's, he's trying to, like, detain me. I, I didn't do anything wrong. I was... I was but uh, you just said you were jaywalking. No, I, I, I did, and, and I was being very, you know, um, uh, easy, you know, easy going. How did that transpire into fighting with my officer? Because he was, he was like, aggressively, you know, kind of... And, and I, I was I was willing to, to comply. I was willing to, get, to comply, and like something just felt like he was gonna kick my ass in the first place. Like that's like that's what it felt like. So and he did. Look, look. I, I I never knuckled with him. I'm a strong wrestler. Like I went to a good high school. I wasn't trying to resist in that way, but he was punching me, and I wasn't punching. I wasn't doing any of that. I wasn't I wasn't resisting. So he told you to roll over what on your face down? Is that what he told you to do? Look, he told me, he kept telling me, roll over as he was punching me in my face. And I could, all I could do was just move out of the way. You understand why you're under arrest now? They stop you for jaywalking, which typically that's a citation. Okay. But then when you fight with the police, you know. I, did, I didn't fight, sir. When I got here, you were fighting with my No, I, I was trying, I was just trying to keep him off of me. I was just trying to keep him off of me, sir. Like, he attacked, he attacked me. You know, and, and I, I made the mistake by jaywalking. I just wanted to make it home to my family, man. All right, hang on, I'm gonna have him check you, all right? I just wanted to go home, man. All right. Uh, I talked to uh, your arrestee a little bit. He said that he was jaywalking. Um, he said that uh, when you stopped to talk to him, that uh, he was trying to be compliant, he wanted to, but then all of a sudden you attacked him. Hmm. And so... Uh, it's a little different than what happened. Um, well, just I'm looking at the backs of your hands. You got dinged pretty good on the side of your head. Yeah. What the paramedics say? Nah, it's just, it's just road, road rash. That's all. Scrappy. We're going to change your name to Scrappy. <laughs> I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Veely now. I love my job, but I love being a dad even more. So I started coaching uh, Little League, always been a baseball fan. So I have a blast going out with little ones, teaching them how to play baseball. And a uh, big learning experience for me. A little bit ago, I saw this uh, car over here. A guy had the uh, flashlight in his mouth and uh, a pair of pliers in his hand. 817, I'm going to be out with an occupied suspicious at uh, 14 and Marshall. Yeah, let's have me code one cover. Hello. Hello. Just curious what's going on here. On my dome light. You're on your dome light? 2.30 in the morning. Can you do me a favor? Can you take your pliers and set those down? Are you talking to me? You just set it down right there. All right, do you have some ID on you, sir? I prefer if you don't go rummaging around while we're in there. It's just right here. It's right there? OK. From Alaska? Or where are you, you guys headed? Just cruising around. We were, well, we live in Seattle now. You live in Seattle now? Yeah. How long are you living in Seattle? Uh, about six months this six time. Six months, and you just got? Yeah, you know, I, I have it. Washington ID. OK. Ma'am, do you have your ID on you? Why don't you have a seat on the sidewalk? Did we do something wrong? Uh, it's just a little suspicious. I'm just going to document who I'm talking to, and then uh, you'll be on your way. All right? Where are you guys? Where are you headed? We were at the Capitol Hill Hotel. Now we're just, that's how we were, we were supposed to go. But like I said, telling the other officer, he just wanted to be friends. You know, we were arguing a little bit. And out of frustration, he just said, fine, we're not going to go back. I'm going to do my project. It's kind of like what he likes to do to me. Like, I I OK. Yeah. All right, you guys don't have, you don't have anything in the car you guys aren't supposed no, to have? No, no. No guns, like that. drugs. You know, this is a mental game for him. All right. Sir, do you mind if I take a look in there and just make sure that you're Shooting straight with me? You don't have any dope or guns or anything in there? Well, I don't, but I don't. Is it my right to? Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there that's been in there, you know, for a while. So I don't okay. want to exercise my right to not. Okay, because I'll tell you what I'm seeing here. You had your little meth torch right there. You guys have your syringes down on the floorboard right here. Okay. I don't even know what the hell this is supposed to be right here. Some sort of bong? I don't know. Got a bunch of crap in there. I know there's nothing in there. That's too bad for being out here this time of night because we have no business being out here, and this is what happens. I've tried to tell him this before. He can get all pissed off at me as he wants, but this is just, there's nothing. It's just 
we're wasting your guys' time. Yes, we're going to be wasting a lot of time tonight. I, I mean, I've seen evidence you guys have got, like, dope in the car. So wh what, what are we going to do here? You're more than welcome to limit the scope of my search at any time. Yeah, but we, OK, go ahead. OK. All right. Ma'am, I'm going to have you go ahead and get out. Ma'am, do you have anything in your purse you're not supposed to have? No. There's no dope in there, no guns? No. OK, can you do me a favor and just leave it in the car for a second, and then I will hand it to you, but I don't want you reaching into stuff and grabbing stuff. You just step out of the car. All right? Thank you. Are these your needles here? Pardon me? I noticed you got the needles everywhere. There's not needles everywhere. We were cleaning out an old bag, and somebody, one of our friends has, is actually diabetic, but you're not going to believe that, so. Well, I don't know if you've ever seen what people with diabetes shoot up, but it's generally clear. And well, that, we had not... other people in the car tonight, a couple of scumbags. Seriously, we did not even know he wanted to give a ride to for 30 bucks. So who knows? OK. I'm just trying to be straight up with you guys. If you guys just have a teeny little bit of like, like paraphernalia, it's user stuff, OK, I'm in and out of your life, all right? Um, but you guys are kind of being a pain in the butt and not kind I'm of getting. Just, just, like just a second. Just, just a second. We can play hardball. Or you guys can level with me. What are you up to right now? What are you doing? That is the truth, sir. I, I wanted. He that he's that much of a jerk, and I don't care. That he I wanted to go back to the room, and because I don't don't shut up or I don't do anything, he will just. Oh, we're not going to go back. We're just okay. going to stay. How here. much dope do you have in the purse? N none. Can I go ahead and look in your purse now? No, sir. There's no. I'm, there's no. Hey, no. What did he just tell you? He's, if you're not going to turn around. No. Okay, you can look in my purse. Okay. Okay. No, I, it's. Okay, there's no, no longer option. Right. We lost half no, the choice. Please don't. Put do your hands me, behind sir. your back, please. Yeah, put your so put your hands behind your back. Go ahead and look at my purse. Okay. Me, sir. All right. Do you you have no needles on you? Nothing no. on some poke me or stick me? Please don't arrest me. Okay. I'm not a bad girl. I'm, I'm swear to God, I promise you that I'm not. I'm more scared of him. Okay. Why don't you have a seat on the curb here? Can I go ahead and look in that, that purse now then? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you have a seat? I don't know, like I said, I don't know. Just sit down. Okay. Well, so I'm letting you know that if there's anything anywhere, like I'll tell you right now, I'm not taking a fall for anybody. That's for damn sure. He's such a liar. I do. If anything, it's once in a while, like, I'll take a shot. That's it. Is your meth pipe? No, what? No. Negative. Really? See, I knew he's a bit. That's why he didn't want you to search my purse. I was wondering, because I know that I don't have any dope. Are you arms. smoking heroin what? in this? This doesn't seem, no. this looks like meth. No, it's usually a foil. That's just what I'm saying. I don't know. But hmm. I haven't done drugs my whole life at all. I'm 30, so what, eight? Now. That's why he's all calm. He's all happy that it's me over here and not him. So all those syringes are hers. All the, the pipes hers. It's none of it's yours, even though you're a user too. You're gonna let your lady go to jail for your syringes and the other stuff. You know what? If it were mine, I, I, here I'll say this: If it were mine, I would cop to it. That's a God's honest truth. Okay. No, I'm just gonna charge her with a pipe because I don't feel like trying to collect all those little needles and get myself stuck. So I'm going to be a broken relief. She'll probably be out in a few hours. All right? Thank you. Good luck, man. Thank you. All right. I'm going to charge you with the just the meth pipe, not with the needles, OK? Uh, the meth pipe is a misdemeanor. Um, the needles are a felony, but you will probably be out in a couple hours. Can I help? You're not bringing my purse. You're not going to take my. I, I am not touching that purse with all of the needles and everything that's in that. It, it, that is way too dangerous. All right. Well, I think being a police officer is one of the most exciting, rewarding occupations there are. We're there to uh, help you and, you know, from the most minor thing is uh, letting them use your cell phone so they can contact somebody and let them know that they're on their way home. You know, we're, we've, we've, we do it all. Yeah, the driver is still inside the vehicle. What's this? It looks like uh, two guys are getting ready to fight. Uh, they're chasing each other around the bush here. Let's check it out. Seven one three three four six eight two times possibly. Uh, I don't know. They they were about to four sixteen intersection of Torrey Pines and Lake Mead. Hey guys.
guys. What's going on? Put the box down. I'm sorry, man. We were Step just... in front of the car. You too, we sir. We were just walking home, Step man. in front of the car. We were on my way home, and he started well, that's not, tripping because not... I had his phone and didn't want to give him his phone. OK. Because... Well, that's what I saw. Because he went and seen his ex-boyfriend yesterday, and my feelings are hurt, All so right. I don't want him calling his ex-boyfriend. I'm just going to pet you down, make sure you don't have any weapons I on don't, you, OK? Man, I promise you. I don't. There's nothing on me. I'm just, I'm in... I just don't want to fight with Step this back. dude, man. I'm sorry, officer. Spread your feet. And it was both of you that I saw, so it's not just on no, him. No, he was chasing me, hey. but I'm, I'm not going to argue with you, officer. I understand. I'm just I saying. Apologize. I, I apologize. saw both of you. I'm sorry for yelling at you or whatever. I apologize. OK. I'm going to get your information. Don't lie to me. Officer, I'm not going to lie to you. I have a warrant. Yes. What do you think the warrant's for? Well, it's because I went I went to my court date, and I was sitting, and I'd already been sick for like two weeks. Mm -hmm. And him as my witness, he'll tell you, I was sitting in the courtroom, and I even signed in for the the plaintiff, or the, what you call it? Yeah, you to, signed in with the, uh -huh. For the public defender or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I kind of was coughing, and I pooped on myself, and I had poop running down my leg, and I was so embarrassed. I just, I, I ran out of the courtroom, and I just never went back in there. But I mean, I have plans on going to squash so my what was your what was the charge that you were going there for? Petty larceny. OK, so you might have a petty larceny. All right, what's in the box? That's his, that's your box I'm carrying. For you. It's not even mine. OK, all right, yeah, oh, that's my box. That's my box. That's fine, whatever, David, you're full of shit, but OK, whatever. This, it's all good, officer. I just, I, this dude is just too much for me. So man. what's it, what's in the box? That's stuff that I had that I that I had found over here at the store, over by the store and back at the store. All right. Yeah. It's but stuff that's just. That I found. But you were carrying it, right? Yeah. It's 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 stuff that I found in a in, in the box over there. I don't know what it is. It was just laying back there. It looks like a bunch of goodies or whatever. This I don't know. Be like books. I'm just gonna make a phone call to the local area command to see if they've uh, had any calls regarding shoplifting at the bookstore down the street. You did this on purpose, David. You happy? I mean, I, I don't know. No, why would I be happy? You don't need it. You need this one. It started, but you did it. You did it on purpose. I'm going to jail for a long time, then. Thank you. So you're going to be with Eric? I, I, I don't even know. Thank no, well, Gary, I have nothing to do with nothing. I'm gonna move on with my life. Oh, you are? So you got me arrested and now you're moving Gary, on. Gary, I didn't. Life. Why would I do that? Call 911? No, but you started when you could have waited for the phone. I no, I couldn't wait. The phone's ringing off the hook. It's my dad. No, it's not. It's my mom. Oh, okay. Well, apparently, uh, they were fighting over the phone because one of them saw his uh, significant other texting or talking to another ex boyfriend. Gary has a uh, warrant. For petty larceny. Officer. Gary, right? Yeah, can you give me a chance to squash my warrant? Well, we'll get to that in a minute, but I did see you do have that petty larceny warrant. And I promise you okay. I was going to squash it when I get my money, and I was going to go finish my community service with my other case. I was going to do right. And you said this ex, you were, he's accusing you of texting an ex-boyfriend? Yeah, his, look, his ex-boyfriend works right there at EC Fades, and okay. he would told Sorry. me yesterday when he disappeared for three hours, he went in there and got a pedicure, and I've just been, I told him I'm not gonna let you have the phone because I don't want you talking to him behind my back, you know? And I'm just, I'm a nervous wreck, and I just, I don't want, you know what I'm saying? Was this somebody you met in between your relationship yes. or before you um, met him? I went to jail um, on Christmas for trespassing, and I did 12 hours when I got out. He had cheated on me with this guy, the barber right I, here. I cheated on him, and then so. I introduced all, like we all introduced, and then we all hung out or whatever. So and then they, you started dating him? And then yeah, well, he hit I, him in the head with the bat. Yeah, no, I eventually left him for this guy right here. Show him the scar on your head. I, I mean, I, I, yeah. I see it. So anyway, that's this was a long time ago. That's done. This is That ship's already sailed. Can you please give me a chance to squash my warrant? That's, what we're, that's we're, where you're at. Yeah. All right. Put your hands together. OK, you do have that city warrant, OK? And it is for the petty larceny that you told me. So we're going to we're gonna go ahead and transport you to the city. OK. All right. Love you. Love you too. I'm just gonna put him in the back of your car real quick. Four. He's 440. I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. Call my mom. Watch your head, okay? And my son. 
I love you. Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I've been on the department for six years. I'm still at the point that I still get the butterflies when I put the uniform on and hit the streets. If you get too comfortable doing what we do for a living, that's when you get hurt. You have to be aware of what's going on out there and always be ready to react to it and not let the fear control you. We're heading to a uh, call right now with a white male who says he wants to kill himself with a knife. He's staying here at the 7-Eleven. We're going to pull up and see if we can't locate him. This guy's got a flag on his shirt, are you saying? Hat. He has blue, white, and red cap. Is this him right here, this tall dude? Watch his hands. Yep. He has it on his hand. Watch yourself, watch yourself, hey, watch hey, yourself. Hey, hey. Hey, put that knife down, Don't dude. Don't do that. Don't Don't walk towards me with a knife. Just put it right there. Hey, stretch. Drop the knife or I'm going to tase you. 7 John 7, give us some red. Do you want the help or don't you? I do want it. To do me a favor and drop the knife and I'll get you the help. I'm going to help you, but I need you to drop the knife. I'll tell you what. You stay over there, I'll stay here. Just drop the knife over there for me. That's all I ask you to do. You don't have to do anything else. I hate to, I don't want to light you up, dude. You're going to roll around like a fish. You'll roll around just like a fish. Drop the knife. What's your name? Listen, we're not here to do anything bad to you. We don't want to hurt you. Right now. We're here because you called, right? What's your first name? Dave, look at me real quick. Look, stay where you're at. I'll put away my taser. Talk to me real quick. Put away the knife. That's all I ask you to do. I need the next unit coming down Boulder. He's walking away. Gray shirt, black backpack. He's got the knife in his right hand. Alba, not too close. Alba, not too hey, close. I'm not going to let you get in Taco Bell for hey, you. Hey, stop better right not there. Both of you, stop there. right there. He's walking back out towards Boulder now. Dave, you're not walking in there with that knife. Alba, right. don't get too close to him. Well, he's getting too close to people. I got him. He's walking up on you right now. He's coming up on the sidewalk. Have the next unit shut down Boulder uh, just at 5390. He's walking across Boulder now on the uh, north side of the street. Come on, dude, you're just being childish now. You got 10 cops chasing you, and we're not going anywhere. Jim, if you got to hit him with a low lethal, hit him with a low lethal. But keep walking next to him. There's nobody around He him. dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped it. Turn around that way. Face the wall. Hands behind your back. There you go. Get on your knees now. Ready? Stay down, stay down. Means get on your knees now. Get on your knees now. You can disregard last. He's in custody. We're called for. Thank you. You did the right thing. I don't want to see you get hurt. You okay? Yeah. All right. Here, do me a favor. Bring your knees up towards me. Bring your knees up, and then come on up. There you go. You all right? Why are you running around with the knife? I don't want to kill myself. What's making you feel that way? No family and homeless. No one wants to help. I can't get a job. I don't have a phone. That works. You ever tried anything like this before? No. Yeah. When was the last time you tried it? A couple months ago. What'd you try and do? Same thing. Did you have a knife? Yeah. Police come? Yeah. They hit you with a beanbag or tase you? Is that what you want, or did you want to be shot? I'm shot. That's not a pretty sight, bud. It's not fair to us either, right? Last time when they you took do you. it all the time, so it wasn't my No, we don't do it all the time. That's not how it works. I could have shot you back there, but that didn't happen, did it? No. Okay. I tried talking to you. Yes, you did. You had the knife in your hand. So you can shoot somebody you got a knife in your hand. If, you, if I get that close, or you get that close to me, what if I don't have a choice? So you're going to shoot me because I have a knife? You're holding the knife aggressively. You don't bring a gun to your knife show, bro. Okay, 
You shouldn't. I'm not your bro. I tried helping you. Instead, you ran off, and then you ran through traffic, putting everybody else's lives in danger. Dave, and I'm being serious here. You don't see the big deal with you having a knife and holding it the way you were, and me asking you to drop it so that I could talk to you. You thought that? Do you think that's normal? You don't shoot a guy with a knife, dude. So you held the knife because you were testing me? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I, I did all that. All the, I did all this for a just, just, to, just see, to test the police. Just, just to see if he got to shoot me. Really? Okay. I'm asking you. I'm not that dumb, dude. All you had to do was talk to me. If you need help, we'll get you help. I'll take those cuffs off. Do you want to go talk to a doctor? Yeah. OK. If you asked me if I was homeless, if I told you no, you wouldn't know I was homeless. No, you don't look, you don't look homeless to I me. I get a lot of that, and it's just, I, I, every day for me, it's like a job to, to, to stay like everyone else. Look you know, normal, get by. I mean, probably keep myself groomed, clean as much as possible, smell good, so I don't look like some of them, some of the bad homeless people out here right. in Vegas. Right. So that that's that's just what I'm trying to do. Okay, I understand that. We want to help you, and I really do want to help you. Okay. I know you probably it doesn't seem that way, and you haven't had help in the past. We're gonna do the best we can to get you some help tonight. Okay. There's a lot of outreach programs. When you get down to the hospital, maybe they can give you some. There is. Resources I, I, on it. I've been kicked out of all the homeless shelters for fighting. Cause I was I was I used to be a USC fighter, so I could I mean I could I could take care of my own. You're gonna go with the ambulance. You're gonna get evaluated. Thank you. Guys. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, get I'm gonna help you get the help you need. On the, on the reals. I really appreciate it, right. honestly. That's the closest I've been in a long time. There's a good chance you could have been shot. I'm glad I didn't do it. Right. Take care of yourself, all right. right? Thank you. Man. If you have any more trouble when you call, no more knives, all right? Yes, sir. Went from being in the military, growing up with a cop as a dad and an uncle as a cop. Uh, it was a real good experience, kind of led me in the right direction. So I joined the PD three years ago. Stockton's a busy city to work for. It's nonstop, fast paced. It's a great city. There's always something going on. Someone's neighbor saw an individual getting into their car. That person decided to pin that person down and hold them until we get there. Ah. I got him. Go ahead and release him. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Ah. Hey, stop kicking him. Ah. What do I do? Put, put your legs out in front of you. What do I do? Put your legs out behind you. Put your legs out behind you now. I'm it. I'm it. Put your legs out. I didn't do it. Just grab his legs and put him out behind you. Leave your hand back there. Give me your other hand. Give me your hand. Give me your other 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 hand. Give me Go and take this off his legs for me. Well, what do I do? Thanks. You do nothing. Whose car is going to get in? Mine. OK. Did you steal anything out of it? I don't know. I just seen him going through and he threw some stuff in there. Go ahead and go through your car, make sure everything's there. That's not mine, bro. This is you? What's your name? I don't know my name. Whose car ID is this in? Somebody. Somebody. Why do you have somebody else's ID, dude? Why do you got someone else's ID? I don't know, sir. Huh? I don't know, sir. How many cars have you been breaking into? I'm just breaking nobody car. You smoke a little meth? You high right now? No. Yeah. Stick out your tongue. Yeah, you tell your story here. You're high. I see two there, so. OK. I'm not doing that to me, man. Why do you got a meth pipe on you if you don't do meth? Huh? All right. Sit up. Ah. Stand up. Let's go over here. Have a seat. All right. So you want to tell me what you were doing in the car or what you were doing around that car? Somebody told me um, to go in, to go in, to, to go, uh... Somebody who? Huh? Who told you that? My boy. Your boy. And he told you to go into that car? Yeah. What's his name? His name is Jim. Huh? Jim. Ying? Yeah. OK. So Ying told you to break into that car, 
And do what? Not bring in the car, put the stuff in there. Put the stuff in there? Yeah. Where'd you get the stuff from? Uh, from my house. From your house. So all that stuff is yours? Yeah. When's the last time you used? Last night. You used last night? Yeah. What'd you use? Yeah, okay. I'll be back. We'll talk to you some more, right? Are you on probation? No. Parole? No. Warrants? No. Okay. So walk me through what happened. Did you grab him inside the car or did you yank him out of the car and then grab him? The car. I still crept up. I was standing right here. So you kind of got stealthy yeah. on him? Yeah, he had this <laughs> open all the, all the way in here. Okay. Did you see what he was doing in there? He's looking through stuff. Okay. So he's still looking through the, um, I guess, the middle component. When I seen him, so he did this because he down. looked at me through the window. Okay. So I'm like, hey, this ain't your car. What are you doing? He was like, oh, no, bro, they told me to come here. I'm like, right there, nope, right? this ain't your car. So I'm right yelling at my neighbor, you know, from here. The, How, who tied his Who tied his feet oh, up? I tied him. He was struggling here when he had him on the floor. So he he ended up taking control of his arms and stuff, and yeah. then you tied up his feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, was he kicking at you or anything like that? He was he wasn't really kicking because that's when he kind of grabbed him a little tighter. So okay. he, you know he's kind of stretched out, but so he wouldn't kick. That's what about originally? Was he fighting with you? And in the beginning with me, no, with him, yes. Okay. This looks like a bunch of mail theft. This could be linked to numerous other burglary cases or thefts of some sort. Born is your first name? Yeah. Okay. So what made you go get in that car, man? Somebody told me to open the door and put that thing in there. What thing in there? A bag. Okay. What's with the meth pipe in your pocket? Um, I'm sorry about that. Well, don't be sorry about it. What's with the meth pipe? How long have you been using it for? About two years now. About two years? Yeah. All right. You have been breaking the mailboxes? No. Where'd you get all the debit cards and stuff that were in your pocket that I pulled out with the meth pipe? I got it from a friend um, yesterday. You got all those debit cards from a friend? Yeah. What friend? Uh, a friend that lives around here. A friend that lives around here? Your friends give you stuff and you just take it? No. I didn't do nothing about it. You had it in your pockets? You knew that car wasn't yours, correct? Yeah. And yet you still got into it, and yet you still took stuff from your friends. I didn't mean to, though. You didn't mean to. I'm sorry. You know what you're going to jail for? Yeah. For what? For all the theft. For all the theft? Correct. You're going to jail for breaking into that car. Yeah. OK. For resisting arrest and for all the mail theft that you have. OK? Yeah. Yep, really. All right. All right, Born, hang tight. Hey, you guys. Yes, sir. Thank you guys so much, man, for helping me out, you know? Thanks, thanks and for getting here. You guys actually being up. good citizens and actually taking charge, you know? Yeah. Neighbors, man, that's the way it should be, yeah, you know? Exactly. Definitely, looking out for each other. I've been a deputy for Pierce County for three years now. I was born and raised in Pierce County. And it's really cool to come out here and work the areas that I grew up in. I tend to work uh, the west part of our patrol area, which is one of our more active areas. Uh, I love coming to work every day. It's a new adventure every day. You never know what you're going to come across. Right now, we're headed to a person armed with a weapon. There's a female screaming on the line to 911, saying that someone's armed with a knife. Hey, ma'am, what's going on? She put a knife to my throat. Okay, where's she at? Ma'am! Hey, 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 we're going to we're going to keep her. Stop. Hey, 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 hey back off. Man, she keeps back off. I'm sorry, hey, man. I'm tired of going through these shit. I know. Hey, let us finish this. Man. You need to calm down, though. What's her name? Police. Police. Terry. It's the police. Open the door now. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Right, drop it. Drop it. I drop it. Because he hit me. Turn around. How are you guys? Turn around. Hey, listen right now. Hands behind your back. How am I going Hands behind your back. How am I going to yell? He hit me. Hey, oh, my hair hey, on the floor. Just, just stop right now, OK? Nothing's going to help right now. We say we're the police. Why do you come to the door with a knife? Because he was out there. OK, go sit over here. here and I'll <laughs> what is going on today? Because he choked me and he hit me. So I pulled a knife because he keeps coming at me. And then he said he was going to call the police. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> and I didn't want him to leave. He keeps putting his hands on me. Okay. I let him come back the first time and didn't say anything. And I don't want him to keep putting his hands on me. Okay. And that's the knife you grabbed? <laughs> yes. Because he kept coming at me. What were we fighting about? Because I asked him a question, and then he started yelling at me. Okay. And then he choked me on the bed, and he pulled my hair. Okay. Bring your head back I... for me. Bring your head back. Okay, so that's where he, he choked you? Yes. Okay. And then I was fighting him back because he's stronger than me. Okay. <laughs> And so you grabbed the knife? I grabbed the knife in here because he kept coming at me. Okay. Do you guys have a lot of arguments like this all the time? Yes. We ca I called the police before because I wanted him to leave. Okay. And they, he left, and then I let him come back. Okay. Okay. Sit tight for a minute. I'll be right back. I go in the house. I'm trying to get my And she starts complaining and cussing at me about a check from three weeks ago. We're exchanging words, of course, back and forth. She's screaming at me. Okay. After that, she goes and grabs me in my throat. She yams me in my throat. So I grab her and I rush her ass to the bed. Once I get on the bed, I let her ass go. She still got me in a little chokehold, but I said, hey, I'm off of you. Let me go. So I get my ass up and I'm walking into the living room. Mm -hmm. I put my hands on you because you put your hands on me. I said, I'm calling the cops. So I start dialing them. She goes into the kitchen and grabs a knife. I go to sit on the couch, she literally pushed me into this little weird-ass arm lock and pushed, a, and pushed the knife to my throat. So, of course, I wiggle out of that by grabbing her by her hair, boom. But I can't hear her because she's still screaming, and I got the timers on the, on the phone. So the whole time she's still screaming and screaming, of course, we're exchanging back and words. You bitch, bitch-ass like that, whatever. But she still keeps jamming the, ni the, the knife at me, acting like she's getting ready to stab me. How long have you guys been dating? We're married. We've oh, been you're married, married for like what? Three months now. Okay. You guys after been the, how, after how long? Have you guys after had these the issues? Last time she kicked me out, I wasn't coming back. Mm -hmm. But after all the text messages, I can show you on my phone right now. Baby, I'm sorry. Why won't you talk to me? Blah blah blah. Hey man, I'm cool. And I told her, hey, I'm cool. I'm so cool. I don't even want to deal with this no more. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Give me one minute. I'll be right back. Yeah, man. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Right now you're under arrest. You're under arrest for assault for degree domestic violence and felony threats. Okay. What Whatever am I going need. to jail for and I didn't threaten him? Assault for degree domestic violence and felony threats because of the knife. Okay. So if a man is hitting me, I can't pick anything up. The, the problem is, is we, we, we have to go based on, on what we have at the time, okay? We weren't here. Come so on. how is he not going to jail for choking me we'll and hitting me? It. We'll talk about it outside, okay? But the problem Every is... Every time is, that I've called the police, he's put his hands on me. He pulled my hair okay. out. Yeah, you, I mean, you have injuries. But the last time I came out here, like a month ago, I told you to get a protection order against him. You didn't do that. And now we're in this situation now. You've got injuries, he's got injuries, and we show up because he's saying that you're threatening to stab him, right? And I open the door and you're holding a knife, right? Come on over to the car real quick. Go ahead and have a seat in there. Okay. Why is it he going to jail too? Huh? Why am I the only person to go into jail? If he has injuries and I have injuries, how is that fair because for him not to go to jail? we have to go off of who the, the primary aggressor is. Okay, and you're the you, one who took it to really, the level with the knife. You really think that I'm the primary I don't, aggressor? I don't know what happened here. Oh I wasn't God. here. I have to go based on what we have at the time. Every time right? I call the police is because he's put his hands but on me. But that's the problem right there, is every, you, you're, that first sentence, every time I've called the police, why are you still with him? Because I let him stay here because he said he didn't have anywhere to stay and I was trying to be nice. Every and day. so why do you keep letting him in? You can't let someone live with you and then all of a sudden one day decide that they can't live with you anymore. Okay? Watch your knee. Yeah, how long you say you guys been married? Three months? Yeah, three months. Okay. Cut it off. You know what I mean? Next time, you know, if it can go if it can no, go this far, no, you know, imagine I'm, what can happen next time. How where she had the knife to my throat, next to my jugular, I already know I'd have been bleeding out until you guys got here. Mm -hmm. You can't stop that. Nope. Alright, well good luck to you, okay? All right. All right, man. Gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Gate 25, 14, 10, transmit on tech 2. Okay, 
Okay, we'll still send a code three. 